welcome back guys uh welcome back to the channel i guess by the title of the video you've already known what this video is about so uh yeah so in a nutshell my daily beta um a 1996 uh, nissan pulsar sedan um it has a it's an automatic 1.5 liter i'm just gonna be throwing on a speed on there um no other reason other than i'm pretty much bored with it and just want to try something new um the risk is the risk is down at the moment so it's an automatic i'm not really impressed with the fuel economy so i figure i'm gonna to go throw a speed on there and run it in just a um, fuel only configuration for now i'm gonna let the factory ECU do the ignition and then the transmission control and then later on I may have speed and the control everything right so let me just give you a quick walk around of the car and then we'll go moving on to the harness construction or something whatever we do next right stay tuned alrighty like I said it's an automatic I think it's a four or five speed I'm not even sure from factory um see here we have uh, the odometer stopped working about a uh, hundred thousand kilometers but i believe it easily has double that i got it with the odometer not working um other than that it's just nothing special about the inside let's move to the outside and the engine bay and i'll give you a better look at what we what we're working with all right so there it is in all its splendor and glory like i said nothing special about it just a beta Right, four cylinder, 1.5 liter. I've seen better days, but uh, yeah, like I said, just a meter. Alrighty, engine bay. It's a typical high mileage, 1.5 liter. Automatic distributor, single coil. At the math sense, I believe that is causing my fuel issues, or maybe that's how it's just programmed from factory. What else can I show you guys? I think it has a catalytic converter in there. Gonna be adding a white band. So the plan is to basically wire in a speed runner, a UA4C, C Wolf, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna wire that in parallel like I did the Alteza. You can look back on the on my playlist and my previous videos to see how I did that. So we're gonna wire that in there. Um we're gonna be using the tax signal from the distributor going to the factory ECU we're going to tap into that and use that as the RPM signal so with that we're going to be doing batch batch injection currently this one the factory configuration is sequential we're going to do batch and I'm willing to bet we're going to get better fuel economy running batch than the factory sequential injection on the factory ECU right but when I'm done I'm going to walk for you walk you guys through the entire process wiring it up building the harness, tuning it, uh, and everything else along the way. So if I fail, you guys will see I fail. If I did well, then you have something to copy and try it on your beta. Right? So let's move on to the next step. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be making a patch harness so I can connect the speed window to the existing harness on the Nissan. So I have a UA4C speed window. I can pretty much use any one of them. But I'm using a UA4C for this one. Um, I have the connector kit, wire, pair of pliers. So basically I'll be using the wire here. These cream terminals, pretty much you cream these on the end of the wire, fit the creams into here. And then this basically connects into there. You have two connectors, a 24 and a 22 pin. So they go right here on the speed window. Here, I have a list of what I need. Um, part one ground for the speed window. Since we're going to be doing batch, fire it's a four cylinder. So one, well, two injector outputs, injector one, injector two. Injector one will be going to cylinder one and four. And injector two will be going to two and three. So I'll be paying up the injectors since it will be batch. Um, RPM signal, coolant a temp TPS and wire to plug in the white burn output. So pretty simple, just gonna skip ahead and do that and then we're gonna move on to the more fun, the more interesting stuff. <laughs> 
All right, and that's essentially the the harness. Just about ten wires. Um, since all we'll be doing is just controlling the injectors and power ground and intake and coolant temp sensors. Um, this one had a auto wire. It's a bit longer since I'll be sending it to the wide band sensor. Um, there are two mods I need to do to the inside of the UA4C. I'll do that next. Um, so I'll show you guys how you make the UA4C, which by default is supposed to be run as a standalone um, ECU. Um, but you can also use it in parallel. Parallel means you'll be keeping the factory ECU and then just having this one run alongside the parallel. It's not a piggyback, but parallel. So pretty much like I'll be running on two ECUs. Yeah, so I'll show you the mods next. So I have two UA4C mods out of the enclosure just to show you guys quickly what you need to do to run the UA4C in a parallel mode. So like I said, by default, you can run this as a standalone. So that issue will be sufficient to run your car completely. With parallel mode, you keep in the factory issue for whatever you may want to keep it for, AC, transmission control or whatnot, but there are two things you need to change. All right, so this is the unmodified board and this one is a modified board. All right, if you look here, see if I can get this on camera for you guys. Right here, by D8. D8 is this one here, right? I can get it for you. There's a trace. Okay, let me try and get it in focus for you. I'll try to do this for camera. So this is D8, right? There's this trace here, this small run right there, and there's it runs all the way to here. You basically need to cut this trace, right? You can do this by simply taking like a multimeter like this and just basically digging into the board a bit. Make sure you dig into it to know if it's if it's still there. If you well, well, let me refresh a bit to know when it's still intact you basically you put one end of your multimeter here doing a continue test continuity test from here to here you should get continuity with this one cut there should be no continuity from here to here you don't need to go too deep to do this it's a, a light scratch let me move on to the modded board and i can show you what i did right here you will see i just used the one of the probes on the molding that i just broke the trace if you ever want to um, put this back you simply just run a piece of wire or something just to rebuild the trace right so that's one of the mods all right and lastly if we look here jp14 you can see a water solder on it this is again the unmodified board you basically just put a, a hot solder and iron on there or some solder wick just to suck up the solder on here and you'll end up with something like this so no solder so these are open and that's all you need to do to get the ua4c prepped for a parallel installation Alrighty, so that's essentially gonna cover it for today so we have the ECU modded for the installation we are about to do. We have the harness pretty much done. Um, I, pre I just need to, right now, look up a pinout for the car online, get my pinout in order, wire it up, and install a white band bang, um, connect my white band, and pretty much create a base map and start tuning it. Shouldn't take much longer. Hopefully, I get some time to do it later this week or the weekend. But we'll see. As soon as I get it done, get it on a video and share it with you guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Stay safe.